know, YouTube people, as always, the male lady came and brought things. Uh, sometimes she brings things that I forgot that were coming, like the Dragonheart picks. Can you see that? No, you cannot. This is, you know, for the Game of Thrones people. Dragonheart! Uh, I don't know. Um, so, uh, let me get the original. This is what we talk... Yeah, this is stupid. I, I filmed something. So, while I talk, I'll show you some images of these pics. So, the guy from Dragonheart, uh, I uh, do not remember his name because I'm an idiot, um, wrote me and said, hey, can I send you some of these? And I'm like, hey, pff, free shit, always, yes. So, um, he sent me these pics and he sent me all four of them. So, let me try to try to tell you what the deal with them is. I read up on the website. They are made out of a special space agey kind of from Mars plastic. A pulley, a medium, midi, 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 something like this. You know, my, my videos are very precise and technical, can you tell? Um, and we have the original, which is a certain kind of material. -y -y -y. And then we have the GT, which apparently has 30% of carbon in it. Then we have the pure, which has no additives. And the hardened, which has some glass fiber in it, which is, you know, harder, apparently. So, the deal with these is, they are kind of, uh, I was going to say slimy, that's the wrong word, goddammit. Um, they are uh, lubricated. That sounds naughty. Um, they are lubricated picks, so that means when you play, they slide and glide over the strings beautifully, and they are very, very durable, which is why you spend nine bucks on a pick. Now, the question is, do I play, I don't know, 40 picks from Dunlop or one of these? Well, obviously, durability for me, you know, I can, for nine bucks, I can buy a lot of picks and play them for quite a while, probably the same amount that one of these will last, but that's not the main point. The main point is that this can be your best friend that you always cherish and have with you. I had picks like this that I had for a long time. And um, the shape is not just to be pretty. The shape is also to give you the normal kind of half rounded edge, a really round edge, and then a very spiky pointy one. So I actually haven't played with these except for about 20 seconds. I'm going to take the original. Now I have made videos for timber tones where we compare tones of picks. But it is incredibly difficult to capture the differences between a standard plasticky pick um, and then, of course, it's not the pick that you play anyway. It's not the guitar. It's not your fingers. It's not your pick attack. And then you're probably sitting on the crapper with your iPad listening to this. So the differences are minute, and it's more in how it feels. So I'm going to play this with this beautiful Dangelico EXSS, uh, which gives you a lot of detail through the Clons amp. Clons. Oops. I messed up my microphone. I'm sorry. Clons amp. Clons. Um... <laughs> and some reverb from the Eventide. So you can just, you know, get the general idea. You don't even know what the guitar sounds like, so it's, it's all guesswork. But let's listen with the normal kind of roundy side, which is rounder than my typical, maybe you can see this, my typical Dunlop. So it's already a bit rounder than that. Can you see that? What was that? That was cool. Well, let's compare it with the Tortex. Why not? We're here. It's right here. Come on. to me, I'm also playing, so I'm, I'm feeling differently than you, that the Tortex has more attack, but the Dragonheart pick is rounder, fuller in tone. The composition is supposed to give you, obviously, fullness in tone, easy playability, long durability. It feels to me very short. 
the way I'm used to the pick, it feels as if when I'm holding it the way that I usually hold my pick, which is relatively short. That this is even shorter, it's not sticking out as much because, you know, it's rounded, more rounded off. So it, it will take some getting used to the short aridity, the short, shortness aridity of it. Um, you're supposed to be able to play it with the round edge as well, which is very round if you ask me. Now, both sides kind of are slanted, which means it does roll off the string rather nicely. Ah! Hey, the round edge actually plays. It's, it's playable. Normal edge. Round edge. And now we have this tooth, like it, it's a kind of like a shark tooth. So we're gonna, there were actually shark tooth picks. So we're gonna try this, which is very pointy and probably difficult to play with if you're not used to it. Whoa. Yeah, pfft, it has a pretty clack clacky kind of sound. Oh, difficult. Maybe for like uh, checking picking could be very cool. of course all have different uh, habits so what doesn't work for me might work beautifully for you so that's a little bit pointy now do we hear a difference in the original the hardened the GT and the pure? <laughs> the pure we will see this was the original we're gonna go for the hardened oh, I'm sorry Ooh. imagination you can imagine that the original has a little bit of a warmer sound and this is a little bit sharper in sound maybe maybe really not so with the harden you're supposed to get 1500 hours of play out of one pick that's not bad now then again who wants to play 1500 hours in succession of course that's not the point Pointy side. Let's go to the GT, which is carbonated, like a soda. Huh? It has some carbon in it. So this is kind of between the original and the hardened, as far as I understand. the pure which is the one that uh, sticks out in color because it's brownish and um, is has no additives so it's a pure polyamide blah, 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 plas plasticky stuff good plasticky stuff space age mazi plastic <laughs> Yeah, okay. 
kind of always still the same. So it's probably more a matter of durability and uh, feel for you. So I cannot recommend any of these. Uh, uh, that, that sounded wrong. I cannot recommend these. These are crap. No, I can't tell you which one to get. It's, uh, I will have to play with these for quite a while to, to really get behind them and find out you know, which one I would want to recommend to you. I'm going to first start playing with the original for a bit. The big question is, can they sweet home it? Let's try it. <laughs> I can't sweet home it, clearly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! I, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm out for the day. I want to thank Dragon Heart Picks for sending these to me. This is definitely a very original product. <laughs> or it says original on it. Um, and uh, you might want to check them out if you got 10 bucks to spare. Order one, try it out. I always try new picks. Um, you never know if you find something that you like more than what you're playing right now. Thinner, thicker, different materials. Why the hell not? Okay? So, uh, thank you again for Dragonheart. To Dragonheart for sending these to me. This is what they sound like, this is what they play. Well, you, you have to actually get one to know that.